100% Chelsea. Hello everyone, welcome to your match preview in association with BetVictor. This week is the greatest cup competition in the world. It's the FA Cup. So I'm previewing Chelsea versus Scunthorpe. I'm going to run you down through both teams and exactly what I think should be expected in this game. Now, between these teams, the FA Cup is probably the best competition um, in order for both teams to win. Um, at the moment, it doesn't look like both would be able to win anything except the FA Cup. When it comes to Chelsea, we sit 14th in the Premier League. Doesn't look like we're going to win that. <laughs> um, Champions League is going to be a hell of a struggle to, to, to win. And um, the FA Cup is probably the best chance. Same goes for Scunthorpe, even though it'd be a massive, massive shock if they could pull that one off. But they sit 15th in League One. Don't really have a chance in, in, in that in that league and the FA Cup again for them is the best chance of some silverware who knows but um Scunthorpe at the moment as I said do sit 15th in League One have beaten Southend United and Leighton Orient recently they're on a little bit of form so we do have to watch out for that at least they're not coming here like a bunch of schoolboys. we do have to respect them a little bit and um you know really watch out defensively though is where I think they lack um South some Scunthorpe are defensively a bit frail. They did sign a defender in this window. They're obviously looking to reinforce. So, you know, I think if there's one area we can exploit, it's definitely their back four. I expect us to do that anyway. Our attack is quite strong. Against Palace, we won 3 0. A pretty good display. It was looked like we're starting to pick up some form, so that's good to see. Especially the second half against Palace, which was quite incredible. Um, you know, given our really, really bad form, great to see us perform that way. I think defensively is where we can really exploit them. Um, in terms of lineup, now I expect some changes. I don't expect us to go out with the same 11 that beat Palace. I don't expect us to put out our strongest possible team. Um, hopefully, and this is a great chance to see someone like Loftus-Cheek. I, I definitely want Loftus-Cheek having 90 minutes this week, without a doubt. Um, possibly against Mikel, up against Mikel, because Mikel has been absolutely incredible. Against Palace, people were calling him the African Zidane. Um, he put on one hell of a display, so it, it'll be great to see him partner Loftus-Cheek and, and give Loftus-Cheek that ability to go a bit forward while Mikel sits back. Um, so hopefully we do get to see that. Hopefully we get to see other changes as well. I'd love to see us rotate a bit. It's a good chance to rotate. So um, I think that would be a good chance. In terms of our head-to-head, -head, now we've played Scunthorpe, Scunthorpe a, a few times, but um, not recently. In terms of our historical head-to-head, -head, we've beaten them twice. They've beaten us twice and drawn one. So we're, we're neck and neck. Someone has to take the lead this time, and I'm pretty sure, with all due respect, it'll be us. Fingers crossed, unless if we put on one hell of a bad display. Um, Scunthorpe's form. In the last six games, they've won two. Um, their last game was a draw, so they're not exactly on a winning streak. Unlike us, our last game, we did beat Palace, as I've said, 3-0. So it's some confidence to bounce off. We're at home, so I'm expecting us to really go out there and just continue this form. Obviously, under new management, there's news that Didier Drogba is coming back as well. So the spirit, hopefully, is a bit high in the Chelsea camp, and we can really build on that. Um, fingers crossed. Ones to watch out for. Um, now, obviously, we don't know a lot about Scunthorpe. As Chelsea supporters, we don't you know, really familiarise familiarize ourselves with League One. But Scunthorpe do have two players who I think can make a difference. Now, Paddy Madden, who has scored 14 goals this season for Scunthorpe, is definitely someone to watch out for. 25 years old. We can't underestimate lower league um, strikers. Jamie Vardy is a clear example of that. We can no longer just say, oh, he plays in League One. We're going to, you know, just not take him seriously. We have to take them seriously. This guy's banging in goals for Scunthorpe. He's going to want to prove himself at the bridge against a top Premier League team, the champions. Um, so, you know, I'm sure we have to watch out for that. Defensively, we've been a little bit topsy-turvy. So if we're just solid and we just make sure we can just keep him silent, I'm sure Scunthorpe won't have much to threaten us with. Another person to watch out for on Scunthorpe's side is Scott Laird. Now, remember, this is a person that's going to attack Ivanovic's side. I wouldn't personally play Ivanovic. I would play Baba Rahman and have Espelicueta on that right, right hand side as right back. But if Ivanovic does play, this is a player that can exploit him in terms of pace. Because uh, as we know, Ivanovic can't keep up pretty well nowadays. So. Um, definitely, that's a, that's a player that we need to watch out for. If he does play, 
I will definitely make sure that we try and contain Scott Laird because he will bomb forward and attack Ivanovic with that pace. Now, our top goal scorer is obviously Diego Costa, William. It's good to see Costa back on the score sheet. Hopefully he keeps that form up and running. Oscar, who's starting to find the net, which is good. Fabregas, who's starting to see some assists coming through. It's good to see him doing that now. Um, I do expect those players to just try and build from that confidence that they're starting to get now and just keep the momentum up. That's all we need at the moment. Just keep going as they are. And fingers crossed we don't come to a halt and stall, just like we have been for the, for the past... A um, few weeks in the Premier League, so fingers crossed they keep going at the level they are, that they show that Palace. Now, if I'm going to give you a score prediction, I am going to go with Chelsea three, Scunthorpe nil. Um, pretty much, I, ex I expect something similar to what we saw at Palace. I expect um, a, a solid performance, control, domination, and um, as, as I said, as long as we focus on those two key players of Scunthorpe, I don't see them threatening us really really much um, I think we can contain them with the champions we should be able to um, and it's only a really really bad performance on our side that will give Scunthorpe a chance to, to pull off something shocking I reckon so um, I expect 3-0 nothing crazy no 4-5-6-0 no I don't, I don't expect that just a 3-0 comfortable win and we send Scunthorpe home so there we are thank you all for watching this match preview for Chelsea Scunthorpe Please do leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Um, give me a scoreline. Who do you think will play well? Do you think we're going to halt and struggle? Do you think we're bad form is going to come back? Or are we going to build from the Crystal Palace game? Let me know in the comment section below. Please do check out the Bet Victor YouTube channel. You'll find that in the description. Some great content on there, including the Weekender Show. Do leave your comments on there and check out the content. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Make sure you go there and subscribe. And as for here, thank you for watching. Subscribe to 100% Chelsea if you're new. Check out all the social media links in the description and I will see you really, really soon. On to my hot shots and I'm going for Jordan Ibe. He scored against Stoke in the week. He's a player who's played against teams at that level for Wickham. I think it'll have too much pace him and I think he'll play because I've got so many injuries. So I think he'll get a goal. Uh, Matt Phillips, come on QPR. Possibly, maybe, please win a game in the cup. They've got Forest away, um, so Matty Phillips. Hopefully, he can get a goal. And Andy Williams, he scored 20 goals for Swindon last year. He's at Doncaster now. They're playing Stoke, who might be struggling after losing to Liverpool with those high hopes of the League Cup wallowing down low.